yeah, what the fuck are you fucking puff back at it again? Um, very late, very, very late on the submission. Very, very late putting it together. Very busy week. Apologize to everybody, but this is the January 2023, week three, which encompasses the 14th through the 20th of January, the top 10 of all the different releases and stuff like that. And it took a little while, and we also have a couple tributes that come in on the first one. First, um, Rock World gives its salutes and prayers out to and feel really bad for the Screaming Trees. 11 months after they lost their lead singer, Mark Lanigan, they've lost the original bassist, Van Connor. Uh, he's with them from the start of the group in the early 80s all the way up until the year 2000. Uh, he passed on the 17th, and we definitely have to shout the big tribute. That'll be the second tribute of the day out to Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young founding member, David Crosby. Wow. Uh, that's a big loss in the musical world in all different types of things. I don't know what's going on with the lighting here, so let me see if I can... Uh, I don't know what's going on with this. Is, is this working a little bit better here? Oh, uh, Can you not see me? I don't know. Maybe I'm too shy for this shit, but... We're going to be getting higher anyway. We're going to start it off with, uh, of course, it's with the fuckity fucking puff. So we got to bring out what we smoke and stuff like that. And because we do a shorter one with 30 second snippets on the weekly ones and stuff, and 45 seconds for the uh, for the um, number one song and stuff like that, um, we always got to shout out to whoever we're smoking right at the moment. And. Shouting it out, but we're not giving it the best review in the world and stuff like that. We're shouting out 2020 Creations is Amnesia Haze is what this is. It's Shatter. And I have edited and made it almost homemade hash and doused the whole entire end, end of the dab that I'm going to take right now with some Keef on top of it. Very good stuff. It's Nug Run. And it's lab tested. It's really good. It does do the trick, but I had to dry it out and leave it out in the open for four and a half hours before I could peel it off of high-grade plastic instead of wax paper. Who does that, you idiot? You know where this goes? In the trash. Again, copyrights trolls suck, and I hate them. So what the fuck, the fucking puff? And we are going to take the dab first, and then we're going to um, get into the, uh, well, I'm going to take the dab after, we're going to take the dab, and then we're going to get into the tributes for um, Screaming Trees, Original Bassist, and David Crosby. And then we get into our top ten. Top tens are a little unusual this week, but then again, it always is. Every month, every, every time I do a three month, every time I do a freaking weekly, I will do a monthly. I'm thinking I'm going to do a monthly of songs that didn't make the top tens and do a top 20 of the ones that didn't and see if those can get added to the mix of possible songs to go because there are some really good songs that I just had to bump off. It couldn't put everything on this list. There's only 10 spots. I'm not tying every single frickin' spot. Then that's just basically a top 20 with frickin'... It's bullshit. But regardless, we're firing it up. I mean, until it gets nice and cherry. And we got our panda popper today as good as well. Please don't run out of fuel. Please don't run out of fuel. Please don't run out of fuel. I'll refill you afterwards. Okay, you're getting cherry. You're getting cherry. You're getting cherry. You're getting cherry. Yay. Didn't run out of fuel yet. I'll refill you afterwards. Woo. All right. Look at that size of hash shit. Look at the hash shit.
Pada, 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 pada. <coughs> I know I got wacky hair like Alastair Sim and freaking Scrooge Christmas Carol from 1951. All right, up to the tribute. First thirty seconds goes to Screaming Trees because they lost their original bassist Van Connor. iconic bass line <coughs> and the next one's an iconic song this is the next tribute 20 second tributes and stuff like that next tribute is to David Crosby from Crosby Stills Nash and Young and I believe it was Birds or Wings the one that McCartney wasn't in I can't remember which one off the top of my head I'm sorry I wasn't a fan of them. I was a CSNY fan, a CSN fan, and a Crosby fan by himself afterwards solo, and especially the the most wonderful thing he did in the world was for the, the most wonderful thing he did outside of being a musician was what he did for M Melissa Etheridge, and so selfless. Such an amazing person. I'll light the fire. You place the flowers in the vase that you bought today. Staring at the fire. For hours and hours. Yeah, I. I I had to put one of Stills' songs on because, unfortunately, I use Spotify for my freaking top tens, and I always have. And I'm sorry, I'm 10 years into, 10, 15 years into, 10, 11 years into the same format. I am not changing to a whole new platform to have to do a whole new format and a whole new thing and have to transfer my, all my playlists physically because you can't do it manually or you can't just copy and paste and put it all through. Because some of those artists are on that platform, so I'm going to lose stuff in between. And I'm not having two different platforms. So, I understand your beefs, and I applaud you, but I kind of have to stick with my format to make it easier on myself. Well, let's get into the number 10, uh, number 10 on that top 10. We spent 8 minutes talking about tributes and getting high. Oh, what the fuck, you fucking puff, man. And again, because copyright trolls suck and I hate them. Um, <coughs> 30 second snippets at the beginning. Uh, number one is Eloise, Drunk on a Flight. Very good lyrics, very good penmanship, very good style. And I love the fact that she's bringing old school, like late 80s, early 90s, jazz bar style singing back to the mix it, it it surprised me so here we go Because it had to end. Okay, there's copyright rules suck and I hate them. But we're making these quicker on these things. Just giving you snippets, telling you to check them out. And we'll release freaking different versions of stuff that maybe we fucked up. And you never know. Everything. Number nine, I'm going right into it. It's um, Aquaregia by Sleep Token.
little bit over so you can get a preview of what this uh, singing sounded like, but the beats fire and it gets even harder and they are not that type of band normally. That was a surprise song from them. That's why I kind of, I, I was debating whether I was going to rank their metalcore song, the, the Screaming or the Reckoning, the, the Summoning. Okay, I, I had to look at my notes real quick. <coughs> oh, that dab came back to haunt me. All right, so this one lyrically, anger, fire, reminds me of the style of writing of maybe a, a Fiona Apple or um, a late career Cindy Lauper, not her original career, but her later career and stuff like that, some of her later albums. I can't remember which one's off the top of my head, but I do remember hearing them in the late 90s, a couple of the early 2000s ones. Some of her releases were not poppy like they used to be. I remember uh, that um, the other one that was popular around her time that I can't remember, uh, Debbie Gibson. Hers were going a little bit around that unusualness as well, but it also has a feel of a... It's weird. It, it kind of could be a little Jill Scott. It could be a little bit Erica Badu, but it also is so much on the other things. But it's got a message behind it, and you could also pull some Lana Del Rey and some like uh, Maddie and Tay, but without the country portion of the Maddie and Tay, which is really unusual. So, new newer artist, or I just haven't looked her up. I've looked up almost everyone and or have heard of most people on this list except for like one but it's Sophia Izella and the name of the song is Us and Pigs wow number eight <laughs> copyright trolls suck i hate them that's a snippet and on to number seven keeping them going for you uh we got uh probably a really popular song right at the moment i haven't really been listening to radios or top 10 lists because i don't care about them i go by my own freaking likings i listen to things and then i judge them i don't judge them i review them the way i like them Everything makes freaking lists on different ways, but uh, that Ice Spice Lil TJ song, Gangsta Boo, yeah, that's fire. Stop playing with them, Riot. My baddie gon' get what she like. So what's your sign, cause I like you. Got a place we can stay for the night, but I'm too shy to invite you. You got a gangsta vibe, and I want a gangsta boo. One of a dangerous kind, I'm trying to see how a gangsta move. You never worry about no excess, on my body, I'm the bestest. On my necklace, bitch, they match like the rest is. On four of my drip was the same. Hit a Benny when I need a chain. I made it out as soon as I got fame. Who can pass me yelling my name? Damn, yeah, like they going cool. Uh -huh. yep. Copyright troll suck, I hate him. And uh, this one, Lucas Graham, never change. Fire as well, it's number six. <laughs>
Alright. Um, yeah, that was Lucas Graham. Never changed. Sorry, I needed a sip of water. Um, allergies are bugging me a little bit. <sighs> wow. Alright. At least we only have five left to go. Um, I have no clue how to pronounce it completely. Uh, Alenium and Nina Nesbitt. Love me a little, number five. Okay, that means play. <laughs> suck and I suck and I hate them because it gets good and then you have to pause it out of it but <clears throat> what on the next one like where did Macklemore think he would come from on this one sounding like he wants to freaking sound like on this like DJ Premier what heroes what It's definitely worth the listen. Uh, now we're going to go to a whole different change up because I'm just changing it up like every type of song going like thing because you know I play everything and I just play what my weird mind wants to play. But uh, I have to like, what's the name of this thing? You're going to tell me the full name of this song so I don't have to freaking look it up. Now, of course, I'm going to have to do this. We're just find a way to just like graze over it and slowly hope it tells me the name of the whole song uh not that one this one all right uh don't make me have to come down there sounds like it's almost like a fiery freaking religious song but the way dolly part does it is just like what Copyright trolls suck, and I hate them because she it, it, it's it, it's meant as a jovial one, but almost true to the words she said. She's gonna make something that's almost like a rock album. Well, this is her stab like uh, country rock or maybe a southern rock, but it's more like a southern pop, country pop almost to it. I really, really think if she had found somebody to play an electric thrash fiddle on that, she could have made an amazing thing. She could still do that with a remix, and that would have been so much crazier. I could see so many things happening with that song, so many remixes being done with it that could make Dolly Parton a rock star beyond thing. She already deserved that rock and roll nomination, but that could have been like her introduction to the metal world and it would have been pretty cool. I mean, it would have been 
okay. Probably wouldn't have made the list, but it probably would have been something cool to see. Top two here are just like either or it could be number one, but number two, Ed Sheeran, F64. This is a letter to you It's been a while but it's been hard for me to get in the booth And since we last spoke, I've become a father of two Trying to live life with a smile, but that's been harder to do Cause all I wanna do is talk about you But these tears won't let me talk about you We should've known that we'd be lost without you Therapy sessions, digging deep in depression I got a life full of blessings, but this just breaks my fucking heart um, Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second Cause we have to finish that with that And other things, but Number one Trippy Red with a verse from Juice World that I don't. It sounds somewhat familiar from something to Trey Kenna or Trey or I can't remember his YouTube or anything name. I'll see if I can tag him. I'll find him on here before I freaking release this itself and stuff. But shout out to him. I don't know if this is something you played me in the past that was just used over. If this was something that was like unused and stuff. But this shit Nightcrawler's fucking fire. And it, it gets number one this week. CD on the beef. CD on the beef. That's right around when the copyright trolls suck and I hate them. But anyway, what's the fuckity fucking puff? A little bit longer this week. Sorry about it. A little bit longer on the tributes and shit like that. And taking that massive hit that freaking made me cough for a little while. But um, peace be with you. Later. <laughs>